Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking 3D space scene effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. I'm just going to run with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document, 30 FPS at a duration of about 15 seconds. Let's press OK. Once we have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a background. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new solid. I'm going to label it BG. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the effect called gradient ramp. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to color hunt. And this is my color palette for color hunt. So I'm going to use this dark color for the background. I'm just going to replace this white over here. I'm just going to change it to a radial ramp. I'm going to move that first point down there and the second point somewhere around there. And then I'm going to press swap colors. So now we have this cool kind of, you know, um, gradient that's happening there. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create a circle so i'm just going to call this uh circle and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for the effect called gradient ramp again and this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to color hunt and i'm just going to get that dark uh, red and i'm going to change and replace that white but this time i'm going to leave it as a linear gradient cool so now once we have our gradient i'm going to add the next effect which is going to be called cc sphere and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go and change some of the light settings i'm going to change the light height to let's say negative 50 and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the light direction to about 50. i'm going to open up the shading settings i'm going to increase the specular to 100. i'm also going to increase the roughness to let's say 0.4 and then I'm also going to bump up the reflective to let's say 20. And now we can play around with some of these things. For example, if you want to, you know, maybe move the light, uh, the light direction around a bit. So I'll probably move it to somewhere like that. But then I'm also going to hit swap colors and I'm just going to angle it so that the light is coming from that side. And I think that looks pretty cool. So now what we need to do is we need to add some glow. So with the glow, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the glow to alpha channel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the glow threshold to about 65. I'm going to change the radius to about 10. And then I'm going to drop down the intensity to about 0.2. I'm going to change the color looping to sawtooth B over A. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to color hunt, pick that red, and then I'm going to change it back to here. So now I've got a nice, you know, kind of light source on this uh, side of the planet. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to duplicate that glow. And on that duplication, I'm just going to increase the glow radius to about 150. So now there's a bit of uh, glow happening around it. And I'm just going to change that color from that red. I'm just going to drop it down a bit just so it's something like that. And so that's our first planet done. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we turn it into a 3D layer. And then what we need to do is we need to duplicate that. So I'm just going to press Command D to duplicate that. And this one is going to be called Smaller Planet. And what we're going to do, because it's a smaller planet, I'm just going to press S for scale. And I'm just going to drop that down a bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to that X value. And I'm just going to move it across somewhere like that and you don't want any of that clipping to occur so now what we need to do is we need to change the color so i'm going to go back to color hunt and i'm just going to click on that orange and then i'm just going to duplicate it inside of uh, all of the glow settings and then when i get to this one down here i'm just going to drop it down a bit maybe something like that and now we've got a red and a kind of orange uh, planet and that looks pretty cool so now we need need to make it move so to do that what we need to do is we need to create a new null object and i'm going to go onto the smaller planet and i'm going to parent it to the null object i'm going to make sure that that null is a 3d object and then what i'm going to do is if i open up the transform settings and if i hold option and click on that stopwatch and write time times 200 now you will see that the planet is rotating around and that looks pretty cool but it's also a little bit weird because the planet is now also moving 
So we can fix that pretty easily by clicking on that smaller planet and then going into layer, transform, auto orient. And then if we go to orient towards camera, and now you can see what we have there. So now we have the planet spinning around and I think that looks pretty cool. And to make it look even better, we can add some motion blur on all of those uh, layers. We don't need it on the null. And now it's gonna spin around nicely around that middle planet. So that looks pretty cool. And if you wanna change anything, for example, if you think it's too close, you can always just grab that value over there and then you can move it around. So I think I'll leave it like that. Cool, so now we need to create the star's background. So if I just right click and add a new solid, make sure that it's white, call it stars, uh, add the effect called CC uh, star burst. All right, and then I'm just gonna drop that underneath my uh, two planets. I'm gonna change a few of these settings, like for example, the scatter to about 225, the speed to about 0.03, uh, and the size, let's really bring it down to about like, let's say 24. And now you can see if you preview that, the stars are just moving ever so slightly. So I think that looks pretty cool. Then the final thing that we need to add is some noise. So if we create a adjustment layer and if we put that right at the top, actually what we should do is we should create a lens flare and I'm just gonna put that lens flare maybe somewhere in that corner, just like that. I'm just gonna change it to a prime uh, lens flare and I'll just put it a little bit off the screen so you can see that the light is kind of hitting uh, there. So the final effect that we are going to add here is another new adjustment layer. And in this adjustment layer, I just searched for some noise and I'm gonna bump that up to about, let's say 8%, maybe even 10%, etc. Cool, and then, so that's pretty much it. So now we've got the planet rotating around and that looks pretty cool. The only other thing I did add was, I just did add a little bit more glow to the two different planets and that's about it. But anyways, that, that's about it. So thanks for watching this short tutorial on how to create a 3D space scene. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.